welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So glad that, so glad to see you guys here again. Like it's been a very, 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 very long time since I've like did some proper recording back in this place. By the way, just did a huge shift on my uh, work desk to make the recording more bearable, more comfortable, I guess. Like, I wasn't really happy about the shelf because of the color and the reflecting bouncing, and also because of the window. I was thinking of like doing something better and um, got these two lights to bounce off this sort of like, you know, mixed feeling color kind of wall. I don't know, it's nice, but not nice. Personally, I don't like it. I would prefer a white wall slap onto it and I can put tons of stuff or like a black wall or a brick wall that gives more texture. But yeah, um, you gotta do what you gotta do and you gotta make good with what you have. That's what I've always been saying. So yeah, welcome to this uh, new setup. This will probably be the kind of default setup for the very long time when I want to just uh, do a recording back here basically when I feel lazy when I want to just come back here and sit down and talk in front of the camera this would be the typical setup that I would want to go for so today I just want to share something that is a uh, very simple it's not much of a tutorial it's more like a tutorial and a review at the same time clamped together but a very simple one because basically I'm not really expert at that kind of particular area I just try, I would just try to cover as much as I can based on what I knew so far. So what am I going to talk about today? Uh, before that, let me introduce you to the latest member of my recording family, which is, it's not human, it's this thing. Ta -da! Yeah, he's going to put it here. Yeah. So you can see this is a hack setup that I did. Uh, this is the Video Mic Pro Plus. It's a shotgun mic that's created by Rode, which if you are a vlogger or if you are using a DSLR or a mirrorless to record audio, this is a brand that you should know and you would know. Why is it so important to have a good mic for your video content? So, um, previously, I was using this thing. It's a fluffy little thing. Yeah. This is the Video Mic Go. It's also a shotgun mic. Uh, if you can see, it's almost the same size with one another. The difference is this. Oh, just need to make sure that the cable doesn't ruin the audio. So, this doesn't have a built in battery while the Video Mic. Pro Plus has one and what would be the major difference in it? Basically when you are doing a video production be it a vlog or a commercial or any sort of like a visual recording first thing first is always about how you light up the place and what kind of camera you use so that it gives the best cinematic feel then second of all it will be audio because like uh, you need good audio to make things work yeah, like uh, how good music is and also how the voiceover is. By the way, if you're looking for good music, you know, um, check out Epidemic Sounds. This is what I've been using for all my vlogs, my B-rolls, uh, my tutorials, etc. It's a licensed music library that has, I think, over a million of musics and sound effects in it. Yeah, I have this uh, referral link below that uh, probably can give you like one month free subscription so check it out if you're interested and if you're looking for um, the right music for your video content yeah and by the way it's not a sponsored post it's just I like the music that they have so much so I just wanted to like say it. so aside from music you need like good clear audio to uh, show that the video is very good why because if you're recording a video like this is that me sitting here just talking in front of the camera you would want a clear crisp audio uh, output and what better way to do it by having a good quality mic to record it so what you can hear through this recording is basically using the video mic pro plus uh, yeah i've uh, set it to uh, reduce the gain to 
minus 10 decibel because uh, this is a very small room and you know there will be feedbacks and also it's pretty loud out there because um, I just stay by the roadside lorries, trucks, uh, cars driving up and down so I just don't want the mic to pick up that kind of noise so I just reduce the gain so that it condensates um, and picks up smaller voices here so in this video particularly I just want to share like how is the sound quality of the video mic go which is around $30, uh, 30 Aussie dollars compared to a 300 plus Aussie dollar video mic pro plus and why do I think that it is important for you to consider to step up your audio game first yeah many times when we are thinking about like investing on gear we will talk about like good lighting good camera good lens but hardly I hear people talking about you know I need a better mic for it yeah professionals will normally use a lapel mic or like condenser mic if they're vlogging in front but uh, for me because I have limited budget and I do outdoor vlogs most of the time so this thing would be more useful for me and plus like uh, with this kind of like little hack I can set it up as like sort of like a condenser mic just have to have the shotgun mic uh, place facing me so that it can pick up my volume if I shift it in another way it might not pick up that efficiently because like what happens in shotgun mic is it's uh the wave the the receiver it's at the front so it will try to pick up all the voice at the front like for example if i'm trying to talk here you might not hear it very very clearly yeah video mic pro plus has heaps of feature that you would really love like there's this a uh, low pass filter where um inside it there's this two buttons let me just show you here yeah there's these two buttons here that helps you to filter away sound uh low pass sounds like you know car rumbling and also like those kind of outdoor humming voice when you're trying to record outdoor so on my previous video i used this mic by um setting on to like a low pass filter of 75 decibel so it removes everything that it's below that range and as you can hear like the voice quality the sound quality is better compared to the previous mic that I have which has a lot of like noise coming out from the background and also like uh, the other part which is like the gain uh, booster and the gain reducer which helps you to decide whether you want to pick up the voice even more or like reduce the voice like if you're recording in a small space and you don't want to boost the gain you want to reduce it because like there's a voice bouncing around everywhere if you don't have a proper like a uh, voice absorbing carpet or like some tools and all that so there's something that is very flexible in this mic that you can really like consider using and also there's this safety channel which records like two separate audios of course, this uh, mic records only mono, so there's no like left, right stereo. That's why it can split into like a one with your setting and one with the standard one. Many times when we head out for event and when we record something, you know, sometimes, especially in concerts or like loud events, there will be times where you tweak a setting and you find that, you know, ah, that doesn't sound right. It's like too loud or like it's too muffled or, you know, it's a lot of like things going on when it comes to audio and you can't really fix it like how you color grade your video and also your photo so having this safety channel helps to record two separate files one with the standard one and one with me probably like um, the reduce uh, gain so when you go back and compare it's like huh maybe the normal setting is very bad because of the loud noise and all that and with the reduce gain setting recording it works fine so you can just clip off the top part um, if you go into premiere there will be like two volume layers so you can just clip off with whichever like a volume whichever like soundtrack that you don't want yeah that's pretty much awesome and dope because like uh, for the past few weeks I've been trying to record with this mic and sometimes you know I've recorded like three hours of footage and you know wanting to come back and try to trim it down and edit it it's a painful progress but 
imagine that you have three hours worth of recording and three hours of them are just like The last one, it doesn't sound like that, but yeah. Basically, you have this sharp pitch, or sometimes it's like very bad humming at the back. And this is what happened to this mic, especially when it's not um, plugged in properly. And I realized that a lot of times, like when I vlog around, I move and all that, um, the cable has become like uh, quite bad and worn out. And I have to change another cable to make sure uh, that it sounds better. But yeah, but. During the mid I was thinking like, why not just get a better mic and upgrade it? So that's what I did and the results was phenomenal. That's all said, um, there's a lot of reviews out there that goes in deep into like uh, how you use the mic and all that. I don't want to go into that because that's what everyone does and all that. Yeah, you can check out like some of the reviews that they did. I think Potato Jet did one that is like so awesome because it talks about like the shotgun mic, the condenser mic, the lapel mic, all sorts of mic and how can you consider which mic to buy and all that. Yeah, probably I will just um, drop the link as well down in the description or the comment section so you can check his channel out. He's a very awesome YouTuber, like funny, charismatic. <sighs> yeah, I'm just not like him. But yeah, so I'll leave it to the professionals to do that review. For me, it's just like telling you like why you should move from this to this. Yeah. So without further ado, let's just do a simple voice test and voice change. I'm going to just switch it off and change this to this video might go and let you listen on how um, the sound quality is. Yeah. So. Yeah. So what you're hearing now, it's from the output of the video mic uh, go. I've basically uh, listened to the two different audios like before I started recording this. So if you can hear this, you can hear like the low pass gain or like my voice is a bit like muffled or louder and all that. And you can listen to like heaps of noise coming out from the back. It's just like a pretty, pretty raw standard type of uh, volume, uh, audio, sorry, yeah, audio. Yeah, it's just a very pretty standard type of audio. It's not really clean, but you can basically tweak it at Premiere anyways. So uh, one of the good things is uh, this doesn't run on a battery, so you don't need to worry that, you know, the battery runs out, on etc. on that. But um, the quality is just this far, thus far, because there's not much configuration you can do. Basically, there's no configuration that you can do. All you can do is just plug it into your camera and hope that it comes up with a good quality voice. Yeah. So, but it's very useful because uh, it pairs well, especially with a mirrorless camera because it's very lightweight and you can just chug it in your bag. Uh, what I do is normally I chug it into uh, my low pro uh, camera cube gearbox. Yeah, it fits perfectly inside there and then you just slide a mirrorless camera in and just put it in your everyday bag and that's it. You are good to vlog. So now let's just uh, switch it back here because I just don't want to edit on this uh, audio type anymore. Yeah, hold on. Let me just switch it back. Yeah. So now we are back again with this uh, Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. As you can hear from what is going on with this Mic Go and now this Mic Pro Plus, you can hear that there's a huge difference and contrast in the audio setting. I don't really tweak much of audio on Premiere because I'm just not that kind of like professional audio guy so I wouldn't know. What I do is just to, to like uh, set a, like a preset audio that I got from somewhere and all that. Basically like the noise behind and all that, you can't really like mute it away because it will be very weird like there's this option for you to remove the background noise but I tried it before it becomes like very 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 digitized and it's not like really proper audio so I wouldn't recommend that yet. But yeah that's it. 
I guess um, it's very fast, right? <laughs> yeah, I told you it was a very fast one because I was just thinking about sharing like why is it so important to step up like your audio game if you can. You know, in the world of like content creating and all that, we have so many things that we want to get and all that. First, you want to get a camera like from this one, you want to upgrade to a better camera. Then after that, you want to get a better lighting, a better setup, you know, even to a better like boom pole better lens, better everything, better computer editing device, you know. Yeah, there's so many things that you want to upgrade on, but I don't know, like from the friends that I meet that is like doing this kind of thing, uh, one thing that they don't really think about is the audio quality. Sometimes they just get, I'm just gonna get like uh, probably a Sennheiser lapel. Yeah, that's, that's very good, but you know, sometimes like a lapel mic has its weaknesses like when you clip it onto a shirt then it has this ruffling noise Oops. Zip is not zip <laughs> Yeah, you have this ruffling noise and like it just doesn't look good You need to hide it properly And if you are not that kind of person that likes to do that Unless like um, you are doing it in a professional line But if you are someone like me that just records it for vlog basis and sometimes you know just a mini short movie this this kind of mic works very well because you can use it uh, you can attach it on a boom pole and just use it as a boom mic as well or you can just place it on a hot shoe thing on your camera and just start vlogging away or you can just do it like me just put it here works like a condenser mic but yeah it's just not a condenser mic but works like a condenser mic so there's a lot of ways that you can set up like uh, the audio and all that but the prerequisite is get a decent one. This uh, road might cost around like three hundred Aussie dollar plus minus. Yes, it's a bit costly, but I'd say that it has its charm. Um, very good flexibility, safety channels you can adjust on. So if you are looking to step up like your audio game and all that, this will be the one that you should consider. Yeah. It's always like the balance and all that. You can have like the best visual in the world, but if you don't have the right audio to complement with it, mm, I'd say the video is like a flop. So that's it. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this very short video of mine. Thank you very much and hope you like it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Do the same old, same old. And I will continue to do the same old, same old as well. Yeah. So I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers. I have a new way to exit. Bye. Bye.